what is up everybody in today's video i'm going to show you exactly on how you can build your first voice ai agent without using any single piece of code and it only takes five minutes to set up so before getting the build let's see on how this ai agent actually looks tell me uh, one of the location please we have two locations one in marylebone at 105 wigmore street london and the other is in soho at 111 charing cross Ard, london both locations are wheelchair accessible Got it. I've scheduled your virtual appointment, breathing pattern retraining on Thursday at 2 p.m. Rule set. Okay, yeah. See ya. Have a great day, man. Bye. Perfect. If you don't know me, my name is Kuran. I run an AI automation agency. Me and my team help different different businesses implement AI into their workflow and their operations. So if you're a business watching this and if you're looking for AI solutions that employees within your own business, all you need to do is head over to my for YouTube channel and click on this and you can book an appointment and we can discuss how ai can help your business and how we can help you automate your own business okay too much fluff so let's understand how this voice ai agent actually works and how this is basically built now why voice ai because every business in this world make and get calls regarding their services their products they offer and different different questions about uh, what are their pricing etc etc right so every business kind of need this type of ai solutions because this is much more time consuming as well as it can be automated with the full help of AI, right? Now, hiring is expensive, right? People cost a lot of money. It's, it's very expensive to get a receptionist or a person to just pick up calls and answer and cost more than $2,000 to $5,000 a month to pick up a call just within the working hours, right? So people only work during the working hours. What about the calls that a business can get after the working hours, right? So this AI agent can work 24 seven. So you don't have to worry about high money because AI will be taking care of all of that. Now, emerging opportunity because AI is just going to get much, much more better and much, much more common in the future. And three years from now, you will see these solutions everywhere in the world, right? And then higher accuracy. Since it is an AI, a robot, it's less likely to make a mistake because the better you train it, the much more accuracy you will have. Now, there are usually two types of AI callers. One is an inbound AI caller and the second is an outbound AI caller, right? An inbound AI caller is a type of caller that basically receives calls and answers all the calls from the customers and answer the queries of all the customers and actually help them book an appointment. So inbound AI callers is the main purpose is to receive calls and outbound AI caller is to make calls, right? So in this video, we're going to be building an inbound AI caller because an out building an outbound AI caller can be much more complicated. Whereas I want to keep this video very simple for people who are just getting started within the voice AI space, right? So why an AI agent uh, inbound AI caller is good enough for every business, right? So AI agent can pick up calls from customers, right? Also, it's multilingual. It can speak different, different languages like Spanish, uh, French at the same time being just one phone number. I can manage multiple calls at the same time. Now, humans are limited, right? They can only manage one or maximum of two calls at the same time. But this is AI. This is combination of different, different softwares, right? So it can take multiples or tens of calls at the same time right so it will basically boost more efficiency right and higher accuracy and efficiency so let's learn how this voice ai agent is are actually built the tool that i'm going to use is named as wapi.ai now wapi.ai is an amazing tool allows you to build different different voice AI solutions with different different use cases so once you hop on the website named as wapi.ai if you look closely this is how it will look like click on try for free create an account so i'm gonna log in okay so once you get into the wapi.ai system this is how basically the dashboard of wapi would look like okay now here what we'll do we click on uh assistance right and you can see different different system right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna, gonna create a new one now this is just a demo one that i was creating before the video but i'm gonna create a new one from scratch and i'm gonna explain every single part of this i'm gonna give it a name as alex amazing and i'll click on create instant okay so we've got alex created perfect so this is how alex look like there's nothing uh, if you're just really really new to ai this might look very confusing and what i'm supposed to do but i'm gonna make it explain every single part of this now here you can see the name profit assistant etc this is the cost so basically how much it will cost for per minute so uh, let's say if you uh, if someone calls you and they speak for 10 minutes it's going to cost you 0.80 cents because, uh, because per minute right and now let's understand about model area 
right so model AI will basically this part is consists of prompt prompt so you need to first learn about prompt engineering before creating a prompt so prompt engineering is nothing but instruction that you give to the AI to do stuff for you for example how you tell AI to act as an entrepreneur or to, you tell AI to work as your receptionist and answer your customer queries but to answer your customer queries, the AI must know about your business, right? So what do you do is you give information about your business, your services, your prices to the AI in the prompt so that the AI can refer to it and then answer the queries related to it. Now, the one more thing that you need to remember is that while creating this AI, you need to give them a personality, right? You can need to give them an idea on how it should supposed to sound, how it should supposed to be acting in front of customers and how you want the AI to be able to respond right so prompt engineering includes everything that how you want the AI to respond to everything about your business information within the prompt right now make sure your key this key points keep your prompts very very straight to the point right and the reason why keeping your prompts to the point because if you add too much information or too much fluff AI might refer to different information and probably get confused and give them wrong answers now give examples now giving examples are one of the best thing to achieve your goal because AI now have the reference to refer to what type of end goal or end response that he's supposed to give and in the end make the prompts concise if you give too much fluff it's most likely you're not gonna achieve the goal that you want to so let's let's understand how where you're supposed to put the prompt now the first message is basically whatever you write over here the AI will fix speak the first one right so here i'll write hi i'm alex now here you will give the whole system prompt okay so what we learned right now about the system prompt you will implement every single part over here right so we're gonna build a prompt later in the video but let's discuss about different different stuff like transcriber voice functions advanced settings right so before getting to this i would like to show you one more thing so this is how the whole ai voice system actually works right you speak to the AI. So basically, whenever you, you are on a call, you ask something and then that that whatever you spoken, it converts into text. So it basically get converted into text and then AI create a response for it in exchange to what you spoken and then send the text back to 11 labs. Now, 11 labs is a voice provider. It gives different, different types of voice that you can use. And then the text is now generated into different voices exactly what the ai has created and then it's delivered to the end user which is you which has asked a question right so here you will get all the information about prompt and then here is the transcriber that i'm going to discuss and here is the voice right so these three elements are very important which we are going to discuss everything and are the most important thing so before getting the prompt let's learn about transcriber now transcriber you can select from any different provider that you you'd like to but i would like to select deepgram because uh, this is this is what basic are and what of most of the people that you use if you find anyone uh, uh, other one much better for a different language you can select now language make sure to select the right language that you're using for the ai so if you're if you're making an ai agent in spanish select a spanish language if you're making an ai agent in hindi then you can select in hindi language right and voice now this is most important part i think every single person should work on it right so voice i like to select 11 labs now 11 labs have hundreds or tens or hundreds of voices and also you can use your own voice which i'm going to explain in a different video on how you can use your own voice i'm going to select axel british youtube personality as the voice that i want to go with because this is what i like now additional configurations i'm going to click a background sound as office now whenever ai speaks to me there will be a background sound of keyboard or people picking up call or people talking so it sounds much more real that it's a real person speaking stability i'd like to keep it in the middle or 0 0.4 0 0.5 because if you keep it more stable it's going to sound much more robotic and i will keep every single settings just like how it is to make this video very short now functions this is very important part now function is very very tools right so functions are basically tools it's a different section um it's much more complex because uh my my whole objective of this video is to keep it very simple for you guys so i'm going to Im implement only two predefined functions right enable end call functions and i'll keep it why these functions are very important right so enable end call function so let's say a person says uh, our well, ai say goodbye 
then it will automatically cut the call so if uh, we'll put in the prompt that uh, whenever the ai will say goodbye it will automatically cut the call by itself right and here it will put a phone number to forward the call phone number now this is very important for this video right so what we are building here is an ai calling agent for a clinic so what this ai calling agent can do is basically answer any question that the customer has and then it can also book an appointment and help them book an appointment so to book an appointment what we'll do it will basically transfer to the call to a different phone number that the reception a real human can pick up and then book the call for them right so this is very important because i need to keep it very simple for you guys so i'm going to put a phone number later on because i don't want to show my phone number make sure uh keep this for call function as enable and call function on and click on publish make sure everything is published and in the advanced settings uh i don't think you need to mess with any of the settings you can actually mess uh we're going to discuss everything about this when we need it because we don't need it and when once you don't need it uh there's no reason behind actually discussing about it right now let's discuss about the prop thing okay so the model area you will see provider so you can select from any different different providers that's like there's a different different like for example wapi provides their own uh, ai there's open ai there's entropic that's basically cloud there's perplexity so you can select from anything so open ai is basically chat gpt i'm going to select this as well and i'm going to cl click on gpt4 or mini cluster so which is very uh cheap i would say and yeah, you can also use GPT for a real time cluster. It's very good, but it get expensive. So I'm going to keep it very low because this is what we want, right? So this is what we want GPT for or mini cluster, which works absolutely perfect. I'm going to click on publish. And now we're going to write the whole prompt. So I've already have a prompt, which I'm going to use and I'm going to show you guys. Okay. So this is how the ex exact prompt actually look like. Now, actually I took care of all the points that we mentioned and I actually took care of keep it straight to the point. I made it very simple, very concise and also gave it a good flow as well. But yeah, I've just not given an example because this is a very, very small uh, prompt and I keep it very simple to create an a Q and a, a, a chatbot, right? So. What does the prompt say is in the first part, I just gave it the information about how the tone, how what the tone it should follow. I can also keep it more simple, like um, make sure to keep your responses. Responses short because you are speaking on a call. Phone call and avoid giving extra information now here i've actually given and your tone so uh it will follow the specific tone that i've given now here i will give the task so the task is basically answer all of the questions that the nelly supports customers have and then if they are interested in booking an appointment you're always a support agent for nelly support to help the customer to answer their questions and help them book an appointment so the whole use case of this ai agent is basically help the customers of nelly support uh, to answer all of the queries that they have also if they are interested to book an appointment it will basically forward the call right and how will forward the call to the specific phone number of reception so what you'll do is basically go to functions right and since we have both of this on so make sure keep your reception phone number over here so whenever people interested in book an appointment the ai will automatically transfer the call to this reception and then your uh, reception will basically pick it up and then book an appointment right so you can use it different different ways like you can build it a whole automated to book an appointment but it's very complicated we're gonna keep it very simple for this video right so once you understood that now here we'll basically post the information about the whole business right so once the instruction is done now these are very very basic instructions right people use this very very ha big instruction like they have a lot of characters a lot of use cases but this is just to give you an idea now here the knowledge base now here will give all the information about uh the services the what they have to offer so i took the information of a uh, clinic in the uk and actually trained the ai uh, to actually be able to respond to all of the customer queries and i gave this whole information to the uh, ai and i made sure this whole information is concise and there is not much more information right so everything is done click on publish now half of your work is done now the only thing is you need to now in the voice right since i like selected the excel which is my favorite you can select from any one of your own choice uh, so if you go to the voice library you'll be able to see hundreds tens or hundreds of different different 
voices to select from so you can select any voices accent you want if you want an indian accent if you want a spanish accent whatever your own choice you can go with now most of the part has been done now what we'll do is buy a phone number now you can also buy a phone number from wapi that wapi provides but it has an own limitation now it will not provide you much more flexibility but what i prefer is to use import a phone number from twilio or Vonage, right now it's very simple you can actually find many videos about how to import phone numbers from twilio and different different phone numbers uh to uh in wapi but we're going to use a different phone number from that wapi provides so i'm going to use a different phone number and i'm going to buy one that's just going to cost two dollars a month which is basically nothing okay perfect wapi just gave me a phone number that i can use to build my voice ai agent now i'm going to click on select assistant it's going to be alex and that is it that is the only setting that you need to do to build your first voice ai agent and uh, one more thing that I forgot to mention is if you head over to the assistant tab, click on Alex and if you go to functions, make sure to add your own phone number and also in the model, make sure to turn both of these on so that it can also transfer the call. Also, while building the prompt as well, one more thing I forgot to mention is in the, in the prompt, tell the AI that if the person is interested to book an appointment, tell them would they like to speak to our sales representative and if they say yes, then run the function call forwarding and forward the call so basically it will run this function that we just turned on and it will basically forward the call to this function so that uh, our it can speak to our receptionist or sales representative to book an appointment right so that is it now let's see on how the system actually works so i'm going to get my phone which is i'm using to which is i'm using to actually record the video so i'm going to use the phone and i'm going to use a different phone to actually record the conversation that i had right so Let's see how it goes. Okay, so I just, I'm gonna pick up the, I'm gonna make the call, I'm gonna put it on speaker, okay? Hi, I am Alex from Nelly Support. How can I help you today? Yeah, I just wanna know, like, where are you guys located? Because I just couldn't find you on Google Maps. We're a UK based independent social work practice, but we offer services across England and Wales. We don't have a specific physical location listed on Google Maps. Is there something specific you're looking for? Yeah, it was like, can you tell me about one of your services that is very popular among uh, like your customers? Please tell me about it. And I've actually heard about this pro subscription model. Can you please tell me about that as well? One of our popular services is the mental capacity assessment. It helps determine a person's ability to make decisions about their welfare and finances, especially for those now, I'm, I've actually put it on mute. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to send, I'm going to ask it that uh, I would like to book an appointment. And then uh, we should be able to transfer the call, right? Air plan and more. Would All right. Would you like to know more? Perhaps an appointment. Yeah, I'd like to book an appointment, please. Great. Would you like to speak with our sales representative? To help with the booking? Uh, yes, of course, please. Transferring the call now. Okay. So, okay. So it is calling a different phone number. And I should be able to the ai so this is my ai if i pick up a call i will be able to answer this so now okay as you can see both of these calls are connected so this is how simple it is to create your first ai voice calling agent let me know what you think about this if you have any questions or doubts comment in it uh please go down and comment in the comment section below uh see you in the next one if you're going to be building much more ai solutions a very very complex one in the next videos uh, this whole video purpose was to keep it very simple for people to just get inside with the voice AI system.